Hi, I'm Coach Todd, head coach of NoLimitsTriathlon.com, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to create your triathlon race plan. Now, I'm in the middle of race week for myself and many of my athletes. Uh, a lot of you guys are doing an Ironman at the end of the week or a half Ironman. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to walk you through how you can create your own triathlon race plan. And what I'm going to use, I'm going to use myself as a demo. So I'm going to show you how I create a race plan and what you can do is you can take bits and pieces from what I put in mine and then you can put it into yours. So hopefully, hopefully you find this useful. Okay, so let's start with the overview. So what we have for the race plan, you can see that I have um, the name of the race at the top, so I'm doing Ironman Canada, the year is 2015. So we're going to have, uh, on the top here, we have goal time, pacing goal, nutrition goal, and mental focus. And on the side here, we have breakfast, pre-race, swim, transition one, bike, transition two, run, and post-race. So let's move on to the first one. So the first thing I'm going to focus on is breakfast. So what am I going to have for breakfast? Now, what I do for Ironmans, I don't you really have a lot of breakfast anymore. I used to, but I changed that in the last few years. So my nutritional goal is I'm going to have one gel 15 minutes before the start. And the type of gel I'm going to have is salted caramel. And what I'll have for a drink is I'm going to be sipping a bottle of scratch. Now, what flavor will that be? Uh, I don't really care right now, but it'll be some sort of scratch. My mental focus for the breakfast. This is what I'm be thinking about. One thing I want to do is go over the things I will need for my race, right? I'll also have my iPod or my phone to listen to music to calm myself, kind of take away from the stress of the day. And I'll remind myself, well, what are my goals for today? What do I want to do? And this is a big one for me. I like to enjoy the morning and be grateful for being able to race and just grateful for just being part of this amazing day. And the last one here is, you know, congratulate yourself for taking on this challenge. You know, you did it. You got yourself to the starting line. Many people cannot get themselves here. Uh, it, I know it's a hard, hard thing to do. So pat yourself on the back, right? You know, congratulations. You did a good job so far. Now let's go to the pre-race. So we've done with the breakfast. The pre-race is I'm still drinking scratch until 20 minutes before the start. So I'm going to be shooting to drink about a half a bottle to a bottle. <clears throat> and what I'll do is I'll, ha I'll use a bottle that is old because I know near the start I'm going to be just tossing it in the garbage. So I might even use like a recycled uh, bottle and just add my scratch to it so I don't actually have to lose one of my good water bottles. But during this time, what I will do is I'll review my transition. So I'll actually go there, look at my bike, how is everything set up. I always go in with a checklist. So I'm going to review my checklist for the transition area, make sure that everything is ready and looks like it's ready to go. And now I'm going to get ready for my warm up. So I'll do a swim warm up. And usually the swim warm up is about 10 to 5 minutes for myself. And I have on this one here, look into time available to warm up. Some races do not allow this or they give you a specific time to warm up. So if that's in the race notes, please take note of it and add it to your race plan. <clears throat> I will be wearing um, a bike jersey, shorts, wetsuit, chip, and I want to make sure that there's no chafing. So everything's going to be uh, set up the way it should be. And I know that I want to warm up in the swim for at least 10 minutes. So that's my pre-race. Let's move on to the swim. Now this is where we really start to think about the titles up here. So the goal time, pacing goal, nutritional goal is going to be blank because I'm swimming, and mental focus. So the goal time, first of all, I know that I want to know what time I start. The pros start at 6.50, so that's for the males, and the females start at 6.55. And the age groupers, that's me, we start at 7 o'clock. And my goal time for the swim is going to be one hour. So my pacing goal, I'm going to start off at a controlled pace. This pace will be fast just because, you know, at the beginning of the race, it's always going to be a bit fast. And my goal is to swim straight and strong. And think about smooth strokes with good timing. And I need to be aggressive because sub one hour or one hour needs work. But I know I can do it. Nutritional goal is blank because I'm just swimming. I'm not going to be drinking. I might be drinking a little bit of lake water, but hopefully not too much. My mental focus, this is what I'm thinking about during the swim. 
Uh, the big one is I have trained well, I am in good shape, and I deserve to be here. I will swim well. Focus on timing, that's a key one for me. Rolling and having a strong finish with my arm under the water. And uh, note two is I can swim with the fast guys or a fast people in sub one hour. Whether I'll go sub one hour, I don't know. I, I'm kind of shooting for one hour, so I should just say one hour so I can uh, change that. And note the swim is two loops and it's counterclockwise. So I know which way I'm swimming. Okay, so after the swim, we move on to the transition number one, or T1. My goal time for the T1 is going to be 2.5 minutes, so two and a half minutes. My pacing goal here is steady pace, do not rush. You want to be smooth and in control. What I'm going to do is grab my bag, take out the helmet, glasses, nutrition, and shoes. My nutritional goal is is going to be only water if offered. So if I'm running uh, out of the lake through transition to, towards my bike, if I see water, I'll take it uh, for a quick drink or just kind of wash my mouth uh, to clear out the lake water. The mental focus for T1 is I start thinking about my transition during the last 100 meters of the swim. So don't panic and I'm going to enjoy myself. And I think about the first thing, when I get out of the water, first thing I have to do is take my cap off, goggles off, and then unzip the wetsuit. So I need to take my shoulders out. The shoulders come out first, uh, first the left and then the right. And then I, I strip it down to my waist. I'm not gonna use the strippers uh, just because I'm gonna pick up my transition bag and run to the end of the tent. I'm gonna put on my helmet and glasses, put salt tabs and gels in the back of my jersey. I'm gonna put my heart rate monitor watch on. And this is a little note to me that says this needs to go in my bike bag, so I'll do that. Uh, uh, on the day of the race and then I need to run with my bike shoes in hand to the bike rack so that's my T1 let's move on to the bike now this is a big one right so now we're, we're into the second part of the race and my goal time for this race is between 520 to 525 the pace for that is about 34 to 33 kilometers per hour and my watts targets my power is going to be 185 to 200 now I know the pace here, I don't really pay too uh, close attention to the time. To be honest, I don't even have a speed on my computer when I, I'm riding because I realize temperature and wind can really play into that. So I'm really more concerned with uh, feeling uh, or perceived effort and my watts. And I'll also watch my heart rate too. My heart rate's gonna be sub 160. Okay, so here are my pacing goals. I'm gonna start off in control, so nice and smooth, nice and comfortable. And what I'm gonna do is keep my cadence at 90 to 100 RPM, 90 to 105 RPM. And now I'm gonna let the faster riders go. You know, I've, I've done this quite a few times and I know that many people, when they start the bike, they go off crazy. So I'm gonna let all those crazy people go, stay within myself. The, you know, I know what I can do. So I'm gonna watch my power, not go crazy in the beginning and stay within myself. And there's lots of hills on this one. So I'm not gonna to go too fast in the beginning. I'm gonna save myself for the hills. A nutritional goal is I'm going to drink every 10 to 15 minutes and the drink I'm using this year is scratch and my goal is to finish half a bottle an hour plus a half a bottle of water and the water I'm going to get is from the aid stations I'm going to be taking one gel every 30 minutes plus one salt tab so that's a total of two gels and two salt tabs per hour now there are aid stations every 16 kilometers which you know, the speed that I go should be about every 30 minutes. So it should be pretty easy for me to do. Every time I come to an aid station, I'm going to be taking a gel and a salt tablet and some water. What am I thinking about during the bike? My mental focus. So one is cadence. Now I'm going to focus on spinning. I don't want to push the pedals. I'm always asking myself, how relaxed am I? I don't want to be too tense. Try to be nice and relaxed. Now this is kind of funny here is that my bike likes to go fast. So I have an aero bike plus aero wheels plus a fast engine. That's me equals a fast time. So I, I always have to remind myself that. Uh, the first good climb is around 22 kilometers and the climb is 11 kilometers long. Uh, between 48 to 60 kilometers is climbing but not as bad as this hill and then from 60 to 145 kilometers is downhill with a nice flat section the special needs is at 92 kilometers and the turnaround is just past 120 kilometers and then the last 30k is climbing so by doing that by breaking it down that helps me mentally know 
what to expect during the bike. And I like doing this, and I'll review this quite a few times before the race starts so that I can look at my bike computer and know what to expect. I like to feed off the crowd. The crowds can be quite thick, so I like to take their energy and put it to myself so I can keep going and stay strong. And then the other thing I put here in green is nutrition and pacing is key for the bike. So really pay close attention to your pacing and the nutrition. So once I've done the bike, let's go on to T2. The goal time for T2 is 3.5 minutes. Uh, pacing goal is just stay nice and steady, don't rush it. Nutritional goal, really nothing. I might have some water if offered, but that's about it. My mental focus here for T2 is quick transition. This is not a, this is not a pit stop. Pit stop, I don't know if that's a, quite, quite the right word. Uh, it's not like a picnic stop, rather, right? A pit stop should be fast, so it is a pit stop. I need to remind myself, why am I racing? Push the pace with a quick transition. So 3.5 minutes is relatively fast, not crazy fast, but it's pretty good time. What it's going to do is going to allow me to change into uh, my socks and my shoes, shorts, singlet, and hat, and I do a full change. So I like to t get off my top and bottoms and into... Uh, fresh clean stuff and I'm going to grab my gel flask it has five gels in it and a new thing of salt tabs I'm going to add into the back of my jersey and they, the key to this here is just steady and stay in control and remember to breathe right so don't go too too crazy okay so now we're on the last leg of the race and this is the run component so my goal time is going to be a three and a half hour marathon which equates to a five minute kilometer pace or eight minute miles now, if you're racing in Canada or the States, you know, it's going to be, they're going to change the markers depending on where you're racing, right? So if you're, if you're used to racing with kilometers and minute per kilometers, make sure you know what it is minute per miles if you're racing in the, in the States and vice versa, right? So know your paces in kilometers and miles. And I also have my heart rate target. It's going to be sub 130, so under 130, to try to keep it around 160, 165. And this is a reminder to me too, is that aid stations, aid stations uh, add time, right? So don't spend too much time in the aid stations. Don't walk too much through the aid stations because all of that stuff adds time. My pacing goal is really going to be uh, an even split. So I don't want to go out too fast and I don't want to go out too slow. So I'm going to try and hold uh, this pace here, so five minute kilometers for as long as I can. So I'm going to watch my watch and and try to keep it as close to fives as possible or close to eights. I like fives. I'm from Canada. I, I work really well with that. And the last pacing goal that I have is to run the last kilometer strong and as fast as possible. Now that's going to change of course depending on where I am in the race. Uh, if it's going good, I may not need to do that. If it's going bad, I may not need to do that either. But I do like to run and finish strong. I don't like to go too crazy at the end. I'm not a big fan of sprinting across the finish line because I know that at the end you're going to be super tired. But, you know, finish strong with your arms up and pretty happy. My nutritional goal for the run is to take in, take in gels every 30 minutes. And this is a goal that I'd like to do this year is no walking. I put this down for every Ironman and I've never done it. But I always like to put it in there and try to see if I could do the marathon without walking. I think that would be fantastic. Although it is very difficult. My mental focus for the run component is I'm going to concentrate on breathing and form. I'm going to be swinging my elbows to the rear with a short stride and fast cadence. So this is really all about technique. If I can think about that, that's going to help me have a really good run. The other thing I have in my head uh, going around is I want to be smooth and in control and just remind myself that I am fast and if I feel like it, sorry, if I feel like I need to stop, then slow down, but do not stop. And this is uh, this here little phrase I picked up at uh, California a couple of years ago and the people cheering on the side kept saying this over and over and over and I like it a lot. It's can't stop, won't stop, don't stop. And it really helps me continue and push the pace really strong. So that's going to be continuously going through my mind is can't stop, won't stop, don't stop, especially when I want to. And during the run, especially the second part of the run, I know I desperately am going to want to walk and stop, but I'm going to have the can't stop, won't stop, don't stop mantra running through my head. Now I'm going to remind myself that special needs is after loop one. 
And the last thing I got here, last mental note for me is this is only three hours. You can do anything. You can do anything for three hours. So that's mine. Oh, one more thing. So I forgot about that is post race. No goal time post race. No pacing goal. Nutritional goal. I probably want to take in something. Take in some calories. If there's some protein around, I'll throw that into my body. Um, I do have trouble eating afterwards. It might take me an hour or two, but I do like to eat something, if possible, right away. But sometimes I, my body says, no, I, I just don't want it. The mental focus, though, of the post-race is congratulate those that finish in front and behind me and stay positive no matter what my time or place. So congratulate myself for a good race and taking on this challenge. So I think that's very important is at the end of the race, you have to be happy with what you've done you know you push yourself pretty hard all day and i've told you guys this before is throughout the whole race keep asking yourself am i doing the best that i can at this point and if you are when you cross the finish line you have to be happy with what you did on the race course and that really works well for me so that's my race plan for ironman canada you can check out my results and see how close i did for following this and uh, what I recommend you guys to do is below here, I have, I have a blank copy for you. So I suggest you print it off, right? It doesn't matter what race you're doing. You could be doing a sprint, Olympic, half, or a full iron distance race. Whatever you're doing, you can do this for yourself. And that's about it, guys. And so this is Coach Todd saying good luck at your races and happy training.